update as to what all is going on. <sighs> Man, it's been a long day. Um, just wanted to kind of share with you one of the reasons that I'm having to kind of run around and do all this, this kind of a video and that kind of a video and bounce back and forth between them because I'm still going out of town a lot. So, um, even though I'm home a lot more, I'm still out of town about uh, two weeks a month. So, uh, during that time, I came home, gosh, last Friday, and we have dug uh, four flower beds, tied up a hundred tomato plants, cut the grass, burned, set up the watering system, and that's it since this past Friday. So, we're very busy. So, uh, right now, I'm trying to get everything caught up. Hopefully, it won't be like that much longer, but I did want to show you... We're stretching some chain, baby. Getting ready to set this thing up, and uh, we got a. I have an honest to God chain break. I broke down and bought one. It'll go all the way up to a size 60 chain. I figured I will keep it for a long time. We're gonna get started on this, and uh, be back in just a minute, guys. More to come. Okay, guys. Now we're back. Getting ready to uh, pop this chain loose with this chain break and I have gone ahead and uh, scored a mark with uh, a file Damn it! let me see if I can find it oh there it is there it is right there and I'm gonna check it again of course just to make sure and then we're going to uh, set that uh, chain break on there I'm gonna press this uh, rivet out and then we're going to put the uh, full, we're going to try the full length piece on there. And it looks like we probably are going to have to have a little bit of a tensioner, which is fine. I don't care. Um, that'll be fine. Uh, and we'll get that taken care of. I really like this number 50 chain. Uh, Doc Sprocket uh, had suggested this uh, when I was uh, uh, quizzing him about uh, what his thoughts were. And I have to say, this thing is beefy. Um... I like the number 50. Yeah, I like the 50 chain. So, more to come, guys. We're going to get this thing set up. We can break this thing loose. I had done this years ago. All this stuff that we're doing now is stuff that I did when I was like in my 20s before the internet and everything. So, the shit I used to know, I have to kind of research and everything and go, did was I able to do it that way? So, it's kind of hard to uh, uh, look back. But, we'll get it done. More to come. Okay guys, now we're back. I used the uh, chain brake and it worked okay. Um, I'm going to say this was $19. It worked okay. And then I went back to the old way, which I set the uh, link over a socket. Had a cold chisel, round end, slightly smaller than the link. And I tapped it out. That was like a buck. I would much rather do the cold chisel uh, tap. I have ground them off with a grinder, uh, the edges, and then tapped them out. So I can say I have a uh, chain break. Eh, it's okay. It's not the best. But you can see we've got the chain uh, stretched. And there is... I could probably run it as it sets but I may still do a tensioner on it I have a little bit of chain deflection I'm going to say at rest I've got a half inch of chain deflection so I think it would behoove me to uh, try and uh, get a little bit of that out who knows we'll see though more to come guys this has been a damn cat production.